move on now to lesson 15. Here, we will learn about date and time functions. The day function extracts the day value from a given date. This function takes a date as an argument and returns a two-digit integer, which represents the day of the given date. The syntax is as shown. This function is useful for extracting the day value in order to use it in another function for a calculation. The days function calculates the number of days between two dates. The syntax is as follows. This function takes two arguments, the start date and end date. This function is useful for extracting the day value in order to use it in another function for a calculation. As demonstrated in this example, it can be used with a little modification to calculate the age up to a date, say today, from a person's date of birth. The R function extracts the R value from a specified time value. It works on the 24 hour time format and so returns a value between 0, that is 12 am, and 23, which is 11 pm, depending on the time value used as the input. The syntax is as follows it only takes one argument, the time to consider. The minute function is the minute version of R. It therefore returns the minute component of a specified time. It returns a number between 0 and 59. The syntax is as shown. The today function returns the current date as a date value. It recalculates each time the sheet is opened, ensuring that it is always up to date. The syntax is as shown. This function takes no argument. If you want to timestamp rather, use the control plus semicolon key combination. Timestamping refers to entering a static date that won't change with the course of time or when the spreadsheet is recalculated. The weekday function returns the day of the week that a given date falls on as a number. The syntax is as follows. The first argument is the date to consider and the second argument is a numbering system to use for representing the weekdays. There are three options for the second argument. 1, 2, and 3. In type 1, days are counted from Sunday and the value of Sunday is 1. Therefore, the value of Saturday is 7. In type 2, days are counted from Monday and the value of Monday is 1. Therefore, the value of Sunday is 7. In type 3, days are counted from Monday and the value of Monday is 0. Therefore, the value of Sunday is 6. This function is particularly useful for planning and scheduling to, for example, determine the time frame of a project and automatically remove weekends from the schedule. The workday function returns a date that is a given number of working days ahead of or prior to the start date. It excludes weekends, as well as any holidays you specify. It is purpose for calculating workdays, milestones and due dates based on the standard working calendar, with Saturday and Sunday being the weekend days. The syntax is as follows. The first argument is the date under consideration. This is the starting point for the calculation. The second argument is the number of days to either add or subtract from start date. To subtract rather than add to start date, enter a negative number. The last argument is optional, and it specifies date to be considered as holidays, excluding them from the calculation. This argument can take a range as its value. Workday.intl works just like Workday, but with custom weekend parameters. Also, just like Workday, it returns a date that is a specified number of workdays in the future or in the past, but lets you determine which days of the week to consider as the weekend days. The syntax is as follows. The only difference is the third argument, weekend. As mentioned earlier, this specifies which weekdays should be counted as weekend days. The weekend days can be specified either as a number or a string. In using the number method, one means Saturday and Sunday are weekends, two means Sunday and Monday, and this pattern repeats until 7, which means Friday and Saturday. 11 means Sunday is the only weekend, 12 means Monday is the only weekend, and this pattern repeats until 17, which means Saturday is the only weekend. With a string approach, weekends can be specified using seven zeros and ones, where the first number in the set represents Monday and the last number is for Sunday. A zero means that the day is a workday and a one means the day is a weekend. For example, 
0000011 would mean Saturday and Sunday are weekends. The network days function returns the number of work days between two dates, excluding weekends and optionally the holidays you specify. The syntax of network days is intuitive and easy to remember. It is as follows. Both the start and end dates are counted in the returned number of work days. The network days function returns a positive value when the start date is less than the end date and a negative value if the end date is more recent than the start date, as in rule 5 of our example. Like network days, network days.intl function calculates the number of weekdays between two dates, but lets you specify which days should be considered as weekend days. The syntax of the network days.intl function is very similar to network days, except it has the additional weekend parameter that indicates which days of the week should be counted as weekend. The weekend argument can accept either a number or a string. The numbers and weekend strings are exactly the same as in the weekend parameter for the workday.intl function.